Okay, hi. Hi. Um, this was like a last minute decision to try. So I know I was going to um, say hi um, in a video before I do, you know, the actual video, which I've done. Um, but then I just thought, what if I use my iPad and um, you can watch me do it this way. Just, I mean, I might not do them all the time like this, but um, because you can't see uh, what's on the table, you can't see me doing, you know, using the Presidium or testing. But this one, um, let's just try it out and see. Okay, so gold tone with some beautiful mystery and it's in, you know, um, so I might start with a little bit of mystery and then a little bit of that and a little bit of that and then mix it up. Okay, this is one of the pieces, separate pieces that I bought at auction. Um, this one is, this is 18 karat gold with a heart that is encrusted with diamonds. And it's a, I believe it opens as a locket. It does. So you can put all your precious, I'm just going to turn that slightly because I feel like I'm not centered. So you can put something precious in there in the cage and then close it. Um, it's beautiful. It has the maker's mark. Bit of fun where the camera is on this thing. I've never used it like this before. Um, not, not to make his mark, but the the stamps. Um, I've already tested it, and I've tested the diamonds as well. So, how beautiful is that? So, all these don't forget are for sale. Um, just email me. My email is in the description, and I will talk to you about the price. Um, anything you see, oh, I can't dribble on. Okay, so um, here's a, so this is the gold tone two pound lot, and with the special little bits and pieces on the side. So these guys are they look like hematite, but they're acrylic. And if you look at the backs, they're beautiful. These ones don't have a mark. Flip on gorgeousness okay and then we have another pair of earrings I love these ones these are like a sparkly spandangled sort of um, finish and they've got like a resin coating over them and then these gold bits are, are laying over the top so you can see that and these ones are clip-ons as well vintage I'm suspecting and yeah no name but look at those they're like Dallas, you know? <laughs> They're like Dallas. Um, okay, how about this guy? This is a vintage piece. These are gold tone. It has a spring ring clasp. No name. And it's on a chain. I love, I love beads that are on a chain. So yeah. Um, it's very old, but it's really pretty. So this is probably more like a choker style. Um, not quite a choker, but you know, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? So different doing it like this. Um, yeah, I've just got to be kind of like, you know, like this with my hands. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, I can't stand that. Right, let's have a look at this one. This is another chain. This is gold tone, and again, it's an old one. Spring ring clasp. Um, the links are beautiful. It's a really beautiful chain. It's got this thing on here, though. I'm not sure what was what was meant to be there. So something has come off, I think. But I don't think it's a bale. It doesn't look like a bale. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Anyway, um, gold tone. 
that'll be in my chains collection uh, let's have a look at these guys so these guys are vintage screwbacks uh, little diamond studs and these guys are not studs they're um, they're vintage um, screwbacks and they are 1 20th of 12 karat gold gold filled so really nice and I'm pretty sure these ones don't have um, a mark on them oh yeah they do these ones are um, hang on let's just look at one JMS so JMS little triangles okay these guys here are really sweet but they are like really chintzy um, and the stones are like acrylic but they're cute they're cute they look they look like gold they tricked me in the beginning what else can I show you let's look at this one a link bracelet and it has a big log of full clasp and there's something there's a little tag let's see what the tag says uh, it says stainless steel Milor and made in China so it's the Milor brand which I believe is Italian um, but it is made in um, China so really nice quality yeah super nice let's go and get another box mm, this one look at it it's velvet what do we have here waterford crystal Ooh. so another box there waterford i can't work out where the camera is on here i know it's on this side maybe it's in the center I have no idea. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, you know, it's like, you know, first time and all. You're going to have those little bloopers. But this is a stunning, just clean off that little speck I could see, crystal heart. And I believe it's on a gold chain. So that's a crystal, Waterford crystal, isn't that beautiful? You can even see the sparkle now. And um, oh, the chain's a tiny bit tangled, and I'm not going to spend time untangling it, but I'll try and read what it says. Sometimes I can't read it through the glasses. If it doesn't say it on the chain, I'll have to go and visit my notes and see what the invoice said. I can't see it on the chain. What we can just quickly do though is to see if it's uh, it's got slight magnet magnetic, yeah, it's slightly magnetic. So it's only going to be gold plated, um, and that's fine though. It's beautiful. So that would be something I would probably consider putting on. I think if you have a look here, you can see that the bail is. Um, I'm sure, if you can see that. The bail is actually like a silver colour, so I would probably go for a silver chain on there. Yeah, so anyway, I, I really like that. That's just super, super special. So water for crystal. Nice. Okay, let's do another. We have a very, very dainty um, lobster claw clasp chain. Uh, this could be an anklet, it's quite large. Yeah, it's really pretty. The chain is actually just the detail is just gorgeous. Um, okay, chain. This is uh, 
just it's slightly magnetic so yeah we would say that would be silver plating this guy is gold tone um i really like this this is really different so can you see it and it's like it's like um it's a bit like a slinky i love it and so that's the the clasp is um box closure no name and it's just like this articulating sort of snaky oh that's my cat gosh i'm saying snake and getting the fright of my life because my cat's loving my foot oh, um beautiful gold tone bracelet i won't do it up now because um it's a bit tricky but look at it isn't that gorgeous yeah i love that it's really snaky and it's um it's got a nice weight to it um, it's good quality so today i have on some amber um, in a stand, um, sterling silver with a pendant and then this is sterling silver as well but it's so tarnished it's almost black but i love it and it feels like butter it's just the most beautiful feeling um, i've got my garnets on again i thought i'd wear them because i've got a sort of a garnety color dress on and i've got my silver bracelet on lovely okay keep going this this isn't marked and it has a um, safety chain and it's got a slight pinkish color on the flowers but you can see the gold um, that's been laid upon the actual bracelet it's beautiful it's very gorgeous um, it has that kind of clasp and there's no name so if I put it on look is that beautiful so I believe that this is a vintage piece um, but I haven't found any information on it yet um, I will look though okay and then we have this bangle bangle bracelet perfectly sparkly and gorgeous condition so it's matte and then it's got this smooth sparkliness in the in the middle and this is signed uh, in there Germany Arnold. Germany so isn't that just beautiful take that off like that and I can just put this on here I'll just do that and then I can wear it okay um, let's have a look at a couple of pieces uh, not worth our time there it's vintage and it's a shame but it's really worn if you can see um, the gold tones coming off it's sort of got silver tone coming through it just doesn't look very nice so I'm going to craft that one same with this guy it's a gold tone necklace that's lost all its beautifulness and it's sort of looking a bit dirtier than that i may actually try and clean that first if it doesn't come up then i'll put it in craft um and then this one as well is a no-go again it's look at it it's a cuban link and it's just um how am i going to show you you can see all the darkness there on it the dark bits that's just all the gold tone that's worn off and it's a real shame because it says at the bottom it has these dingle dangles and it says love and they're um they've got all the rhinestones on them aren't they gorgeous it's so beautiful and the actual the actual charms are in really good condition so that i might take those off and then they can be like you know sold as a set of charms that you could then put on a charm bracelet that is a good idea. And then I'll put the, the necklace into craft. Okay. Um, let's do another special. Bakelite. Beautiful red Bakelite bracelet. I know that um, there's many ways to test it. I'm not going to test it right now, but I do know that this is Bakelite. So yeah, I love that. I don't know much about Bakelite, so I'm learning all the time. Um, but yeah, good. Okay, let's do another one. Oh, this is another one I bought. This is Premier Designs. But it, it, seriously, if you could see 
the um, the luster on these pearls, they you would be so surprised, and they're not even real. These are glass pearls. They're not real, but they are so beautiful, and the shine on them is just stunning. And that's the clasp. How cute is that? It's like a little slide clasp. It's losing a little bit of its gold tone. And it has this little tag saying Premier Designs. But I just think it's so beautiful. So, um, yeah. How precious is that? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, let's do some hair. We have a sterling silver topaz ring. The Marquise cut. I'm not sure if you can see the detail. How beautiful is that? Oh my goodness. Everything's been tested, so I um, yeah, can say with confidence. And it is marked inside. But I can't really show you that right now. Maybe I can. Oops. Yeah, can you see? Can you see in there? Yeah. And then I have something else in this little box. Look at this garnet. It is black. It's um, so tarnished. And the stone is stunning. And it's just so beautiful. It's a seven and a half. So it's too big for that finger. And a bit too small for that one. I can't get off but look at that I'm not going to clean it I can but I'm not going to because I know how many people love the tarnish and it takes a long time to get that kind of tarnish so yeah that is sterling silver with a beautiful get out of town garnet I hear my sister saying I like that uh, let's keep going quick 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 we're trying to do this in half an hour okay gold tone how nice are they they don't really suit dingle dangle earrings but yeah really beautiful quality no name clip on backs that's the backs but they're so pretty aren't they gorgeous And then another pair, these ones are smaller. And um, again, they're, they're clip-on and they look like that. That's probably my, my length. Um, yeah, so that's the front. Uh, hang on. Front and back, gold tone. Um, so that that bit there is on the front of the earlobe. Okay. Um, we have a pin that says um, custom rated NTC diesel Cummins. I don't know who that is. Um, and we have a little butterfly. It's brushed gold tone. And it's not vintage, but it's really pretty. Everything looks brand new, and I'll tell you if it doesn't. So, okay, what else have we got here? This ring, stainless steel, I believe. Um, kind of masculine, no marks, but beautiful. Oh, look at that. How gorgeous is that? Look at the quality of it. It's like new. It's beautiful. So maybe someone out there would like a special ring for... Um, for no reason, just because. Um, okay, let's get some chains done. I've got a few chains here. Um, this one is marked. Look at the quality of it though. It's a box chain and it's got really big links. And it's marked. Oh, it's marked gold plated. So that's. That's very nice, and it is. It's beautifully in beautiful condition. So that is um, really nice. It's 
stunning really and that would yeah just gorgeous on its own or with a um with a pendant this one is I know it's um, silver tone, a uh, gold tone, uh, it, or maybe it's plated probably. It's definitely not um, nine carat. I think I tested it earlier. I can't remember about this one, but yeah, immaculate condition, absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. So something like that will last a little while, you know. And if you don't wear it all the time, it'll last even longer. The beauty about gold plated is that um, the price point is so much lower. This is, um, this is only marked with a little dot. So I don't know who that is, unless it's Stella and Dot. And it has a spring ring clasp. Again, it's like that flat chain. And it comes down to this enamel, um, gold tone sort of bar at the bottom. It's really nice. So I could wear that, yeah. So that's beautiful. Oh wow, my feet are just getting a little bit um going to sleep. 21 minutes. This is my real test. Okay, so this one is super duper dainty and it has a little tiny I believe it's a diamond, but I actually haven't tested this, so I can tell you. Look at the state of the chain. It's so delicate and beautiful. Look at it. And this is uh, 14 carat. This is 14 carat. But there's no stamp on it. But it's tested as 14. So that is just so... You don't even know you're wearing that. And all you're going to see is like a sparkle around your neck and a little love heart. So beautiful. Um, we have another pair of uh, clip-ons. Nice clip and no name on these and they're like little huggy they're like little huggies little huggy cuties okay if you like what you see and if you're enjoying my videos and my antics um, please like and subscribe um, I really want to grow the community who watches me these are kind of like so light they almost feel like plastic but they're not they're metal and their post. Um, yeah, I really want to um, build up a community um, with us all. And um, so, yeah, if you like anything, please like and subscribe. Please become part of the community that, um, that I'm building. Uh, leave me a comment. I'll always answer all my comments. These ones are like those other ones I showed you. They're really light and kind of chintzy, but they have a little... They have a little dingle and I'm not sure what it is, so I don't know what that is. It looks a bit like an Indian, but I don't know. Um, yeah, this is a pin. It's a, a little hammer. How cute is that to wear on your tie? How cute, oh my goodness. Um, this is a single earring. And we have one more of these um, chintzy ones. And another single earring with no match. Next time I do one like this, I will. This is a unicorn silver tone with gold tone and a rhinestone. I'll put that in the kids' bag. I will position the iPad so that actually I'm not. I need to work out where that camera is because I'm a bit. Yeah, I'm a bit. Um, I haven't got it sorted out yet. Okay, this is Avon. It's a vintage piece. So spring ring clasps are now considered to be vintage because um, they're not made anymore. Uh, and it's got little tiny stations on it. Yeah, it's just really, really simple. Something for every day. Yeah, very sweet. And this one is a, just purely a costume piece. We've got a, um, it's like a twisty chain, gold tone. Uh, with a love heart and it's acrylic in there and um, it's not rhinestones it just looks like rhinestones and that's the back okay. now I have a couple of beauties up here this one is especially spectacularly beautiful and bedazzling look at it oh my goodness 
Can you see the sparkle coming off there? It is stunning. The chain is, um, it's like that. It reminds me of a spine. And I don't have a name on this. I think from memory, it may be Monet or Trafari, but I don't know. And it's brand new. It's like it's never been worn. It is just beautiful. Yeah, look at that. So it's long. Oh, did you hear that crack? That was my neck. Look at that. How beautiful is that? But I won't wear it because I don't want to put my oils on it. Um, right, what have we got here? This is a little vintage bracelet and it's got a real cute little clasp that oh yeah so I'll show you if I can show you it opens sideways and then you you hook in you hook in your chain so you hook it in and then you close like the gate close the gate and that silver tone isn't that beautiful that's so lovely I love things that are different and then we have here um, two gold-plated chains, bracelets. And they're both vintage spring ring clasps in really good condition. It's just so great. This is something I'm not sure. I, I think it was supposed to be a bracelet, but there's no clasp and all that is on there is this thing here. So, um, yeah, I don't, yeah, it's missing. It's missing its class, but it's I, I really like it because it's kind of like a brushed matte look. But yeah, it doesn't have a clasp, so probably craft for that. Um, this is just a little costume piece. It's faux pearls, little little stations, and it's a vintage number. It's not signed, um, and it's not precious metals. It's just dainty and delicate and quite sweet. Yeah, last bracelet is this one. Great big circle links, very nice, and it has this kind of, um, I don't know what kind of um, link um, closure that's called, but it's really nice, and that's gold tone as well. Okay, we've got five necklaces to go, and that's it. So this one is... The, like it's brand new the chain is absolutely beautiful there's not a mark on it it's just stunning it's a box chain and it comes down to this really beautiful but very worn little locket can you see that it's gorgeous but it yeah it's um it's like someone's put it, this old locket on a new chain Got a little flower imprinted on it and it's um, empty inside and that's the back so you can see that the gold tones wearing off on the back oops but yeah super duper pretty this one's gorgeous 28 minutes probably go a tiny bit over but at least it's a good try this is like one great big long um, chain again brand new and at one end you've got this nice heavy weighty um, spear looking thing and on the other end you've got a hook so you just hook this on anywhere you want on the necklace and it's like a, a Y necklace it's like a lariat like that and then you hook this anywhere and then it just hangs it's really really beautiful it's gold tone and brand new absolutely perfect condition okay this guy is a big mammoth um, Cuban link gold tone not too heavy toggle clasp necklace Probably going to be quite chokery. Yep, definitely chokery. Um, yep. And then we have just another gold chain, brand new. And like that. And then last.
last chain, last one. Oh my God, we might make it. Gold chain. Chain. And I'll keep all the chains unless you want one. Um, let me know, but yeah. Uh, so that's sort of there. So I'll keep the chains like you know I do and um, yeah, put pendants of them as, as pendants come, come to me. Now, there are a couple of um, beautifulnesses left, but I'm gonna save those for the next video. So something in here and then um, some earrings in here with some precious um, stones. So six pairs in there. Okay, so they're for next time. But that's the end of today's video. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, I had fun doing it like this, it was great. And it's kind of like, you know, I'm talking to you. So, um, yeah. All right. I will do, I'll see how I go. I'm not always going to do them like this. I might be having a really bad hair day or just be feeling like foul or like, I don't want to look at you today or I don't want you to look at me. Um, so we can see about that, but, uh, I'm glad I've done this one and, um, yeah, hopefully there will be, you know, more. It's nice to have, you know, it's good to mix things up a little bit. Um, yeah, so I hope you like it. Um, like and subscribe. If you want anything, email me. Everything's in the description. I look forward to seeing you again um, on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I love it and I'm having so much fun and you guys watching just makes it all worth it. So thank you. Okay, bye.